Get a little YouTube action. Let's see what Justin's got going on. Seven anti-hype fragrances to get for fall 2023. Captain Clickbait's back at it again, I see. That's right. You've clicked on the anti-hype video. <laughs> I am Apparently so. There will be no hyping in this video. The fragrances I'm oh, talking yeah? about will not be hyped by anyone, not even me. This video is all about the invisible. So don't blink, hold your breath, and take notes. What is this video really about? He's on to something. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I was watching my dear friend Justin's newest video and I thought he's on to something here. Anti-hype fragrances for fall. So you can't take that quite literally. What he means is he's talking, he's giving you some recommendations on stuff that you're probably not going to see anyone else talk about. It's a fantastic idea. Justin's great for these types of things. And uh, so I'm going to steal the idea. Kudos. I, I appreciate you, Justin. He, he, we talk about these things before I do it. So, uh, yeah, fantastic idea. I want to build upon that with my seven anti-hype fragrances for fall 2023. You sh more than likely won't see these on other channels, but these are all really good across a variety of price points. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. So I just had to start with this one because earlier I was doing a live stream and it came to my attention that Fragrance Buy had a stock of this. So I did a review on this at the very beginning of the year. Love this stuff. It's just been out of stock everywhere for so long. But you Homme Le Parfum, Iris lovers, you should really try this one. It's a monstrous performer. It has a little bit of that sweet DNA of you Homme loaded with this iris that smells like an earthy violet at first then starts to transition into a soft powdery iris with a softer smooth lightly creamy sweetness and a little bit of a musky tone this is gorgeous it's a monster performer in the sub 50 dollars price point it's in the mid 40 dollars range this is absolutely stunning. It is way too much for the summer, but ideal for the autumn season, those milder days, especially evening wear. This is phenomenal in the evening. So for those of you that are iris lovers, you like sweet, spicy, powdery scents, this is one that is absolutely worth checking out. It doesn't smell like every other fragrance. It doesn't have too much of Yupom's DNA in it while still tying to Yupom. While I wouldn't consider it, you know, the parfum version, I guess in many ways it is, but it definitely altered the formula, in my opinion, for the better across the board. This is a beautiful fragrance that not everybody knows about. Again, that's Yup Homme Le Parfum. Next is a personal favorite of mine. It's my favorite ginger fragrance, and I haven't reached for this one in a little while. And this list is just as much for me as it is for you guys. This is stuff that I really stand behind that I want to get into my rotation this autumn. So Serge Lutin. Five o'clock au ginger ombre. If you've never tried this, I promise you, you're missing out if you like ginger. This is so gorgeous. It's very robust, warm, cozy, and spicy. The cacao pod here has a little bit of a smoky, leathery facet to it as it dries. Very woodsy, but like I said, warm and cozy spice from this ginger. Even a little bit of a kind of almost rum-like feel to it without being overly boozy. It's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Like I said, my favorite ginger fragrance. I hold this one very near and dear. Performance is long lasting without being a very loud and well pronounced fragrance. Like I said, it's very cozy in the way it performs, in the way it smells. The quality here is fantastic. It's a Serge Lutin fragrance. It's the only Serge Lutin that I own a full bottle of. It is that good to me. And if you haven't tried this one, you really should because Shergi gets all the hype and all the love. The Amber fragrance, I believe it's Ombre Sultan, gets a ton of hype. But if you like ginger, it's ideal for the autumn season coming up. And you probably won't hear anybody talking about this one. It's 5 o'clock, Au Ginger Ombre. Now this came up in my live stream earlier today as well. And it is my favorite affordable take on Green Irish Tweed. I get Green Irish Tweed is not the most anti-hype fragrance in the world. But when it comes to Banana Republic Grassland, it doesn't really get the kind of shine that it should. Because this is actually one of the better 
ways to smell like green Irish tweed on a budget. And you can get it for around $20, even online, $25 to $35 range. Even if you get it for $40, it's still it's a good option. It's an average performer. It's not crazy strong or anything. Six-hour range. And you get the spicy greens, the freshness, that soapy iris feel with a little touch of powder, the musk, the woods. It's everything you expect from Green Irish Tweed without maybe the level of quality that Creed has with their oils. Their raw materials are definitely a cut above what Banana Republic's going to use, but for the money, it's hard to beat. Like, I've smelled many fragrances that run with the Green Irish Tweed scent profile, and none give me the feeling of satisfaction of smelling the aroma and being okay with not having a bottle of Green Irish Tweed like Grassland. It's phenomenal for this season. Obviously, when you think fresh and green, you think springtime, at least I do, but there's enough density, woods, and spiciness to this one to really lend itself to a great daytime wear, both casual and professional setting for the fall season. It's Banana Republic, Grassland. This next one may surprise you. This is from a fellow content creator here on YouTube and across other platforms as well. His name's Omar from School of Scent. He has his own brand called Atrium Fragrances. And this is Mr. Romantic. Now, Mr. Romantic has made its way onto this list because I don't see too many people talking about it. I don't think that's going to be a huge thing as far as just like across the board and content creation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't watch everybody, you know. But I have to say, it's impressive. If you like Lana Weed Delone and Armani Code, either or, and you would like a higher quality take on kind of a hybrid of those scents, Mr. Romantic is what you're looking for. My wife adores this fragrance. It has that warm, spicy feel to it. It's soft and powdery. It's got a little bit of a dark nuance to it, kind of akin to like an anise note, almost licorice-like in many ways with some woods. It's a little ambery. There's a bit of like this vanillic, sweet, powdery, tonka bean-esque type of feel as it dries. It's a beautiful, sensual fragrance. Like I said, take Armani Code, the original, mix it with La Nuit de Lome, raise the quality of both, and you basically have Miss Romantic from Atrium Fragrance. I really enjoy this. It's kind of like a designer scent profile with better raw materials. Doesn't that sound nice? Worth trying? You can get a sample for five bucks, I believe, from the website. I'll have it linked below. It's not affiliated or anything like that. I just really like the fragrance and feel like it's it's definitely anti-hype and deserves a little bit of spotlight because it's a great showing. Kudos, Omar. Kudos uh, to the perfumer. I forgot it, the name eludes me at the moment, but just check Atrium's website and you can get all the details and info and get yourself a sample because this is phenomenal for date night and cooler weather. It's Mr. Romantic from Atrium Fragrances. Now, this next one, you're not going to hear anyone talk about. It is the best in its own line. It's a bona fide cheapie in the $30 range for 100 ml. This is Mont Blanc Emblem Intense. This is a past love on this channel. I have given it some hype in the past, in years past, but outside of me, you're, I, I don't think you're really going to hear anybody talking about this one. So it is far superior to the non intense, and the Absolute smells like a sweeter boss bottled. But this is all about apple fruitiness, like a rich, warm apple, cinnamon spice woodsy it has a freshness a little touch of that invictus bubblegum feel but it's not overdone God, we're gonna spray that one a little spritz on the hand it's been a little while since I smelled it that's why i want to get this one back in the rotation because like i said this is a love of the past on this channel and it gets no spotlight it is actually really good cheapy from mont blanc that never got any spotlight oh if you like cinnamon if you like cinnamon, you're going to like this above average performer, not a beast, six to eight hour range and longevity typically on my skin uh, from times I've worn it in the past. It's just so beautiful. The fruitiness isn't overly done to where it's like super sweet or anything. Just really, really good. It's based around cinnamon. If you like cinnamon spiced fragrances, you're going to like this one. Youthful, sure, but super juvenile, not nah, necessarily. Like the Azaro Wanted line, I think is more juvenile than this, to be completely honest with you. But because of the density to this, it is better for the fall season where the other one might shine a little more in the spring and summer and, and fall, maybe three season kind of thing. This is more fall, winter. And I can almost guarantee you're not going to hear anybody else recommend this one this fall. And you should really check it out if you want to get some bang for your buck. Check out Mont Blanc Emblem Intense. Another love from cha my channel's past. Uh, this is the best of this collaboration from John Barbados. We're talking about the John Barbados and Nick Jonas line. We're talking about Crimson. Fruity, boozy, 
spiced woods, ambery, rich and warm. This is great. This is really good. It doesn't smell super high quality like a lot of their other fragrances typically do. You get this fruity kind of cranberry orange apple type of feel. I don't remember the exact notes, but I believe there's cranberry in here because it smells like it. And rum. A lot of rum. Like it's warm, boozy, rich, and ambery. Above average performer, again, just like the previous fragrance. Kind of six to eight hour range. It does give me pretty good longevity. A little over an hour in projection, then it calms down close to the skin. But this is beautiful. Now, for being a boozy fragrance, this one is a little more on the youthful side. When you compare it to the other two in the line, silver and blue, this is kind of the grown-up, I guess, fragrance of the three because it has that extra level of maturity, that more evening-appropriate feel where the other ones are kind of, you know, blue fragrances and broxen-based and such, uh, fruitiness and aromatics. This is boozy fruity. The fruitiness here kind of grounds it to have a little bit of playfulness to it. It's a little flirty at first, but the amber and the rum really warm this thing up and add that edge to it to kind of add that level of maturity. Beautiful fragrance. Absolutely a great autumn season fragrance. I like to wear stuff like this during the day, but it's obviously built for the evenings. That's the ideal seat, uh, setting for this one. So if you haven't checked this out, you probably never gave it two thoughts. It's worth checking out, and it's a bona fide cheapiest. John Barbados and Nick Jonas Crimson. Last but not least, we have a tobacco fragrance that you've probably never given a chance. You've probably never thought to give it a chance because it's got a gimmicky, cheesy, kitty bottle and a gimmicky, cheesy, kitty line that, believe it or not, most of the fragrances are really good. We're talking about Diesel Only the Brave. Specifically, we're talking about Only the Brave Tattoo. This is a fruity tobacco. You got a little bit of spiciness going on here, but it's got this warm apple smell, this earthy rich tobacco. This is pretty much the strong, it, well, the second strongest fragrance because Eupla Parfum is the strongest, but second strongest fragrance of these seven. This is a straight up eight to 10 hour fragrance. Now this is a little on the youthful side. For being a tobacco fragrance, it is on the youthful side, but great daytime wear in the fall. If you want something that's just fun to wear, but has, you like tobacco oils in your fragrances. Obviously it's a more synthetic sweet type of tobacco, but this is really good stuff. This kind of falls in line with your 1 million privés, though it doesn't smell exactly like it, but it does the same job. It's definitely in the same category. So people that are kind of missing that fragrance having long been discontinued, this could maybe scratch that itch for you. Uh, again, not the exact same scent profile, but a very similar style that has similar notes to it. This one's a little bit sweeter than that, whereas that's got more cinnamon. Uh, but you definitely have that common denominator of fruity sweet with robust tobacco, warm and ambery, and great performance. Again, you're probably not going to hear anyone outside of this channel talk about this and recommend this to you this fall, 2023, and you're probably surprised to see it. But if you get your nose on it, you might really, really enjoy it. It might be your favorite of all the ones I recommended. It's Diesel, Only the Brave Tattoo. Well, that's my seven anti-hype fall fragrances. Justin, great idea. Thank you for the great idea. Keep doing you. My favorite channel on YouTube is Justin Copeland, Stay Fresh Productions channel. If you're not subscribed to Justin, you really should be. I'll definitely link his channel down below. He was the inspiration for this video. And uh, yeah, I love the topic. I want to get these in my rotation. That's why we're talking about them. I typically don't recommend fragrances to you guys that I don't want to wear. I definitely want to wear these. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Have you tried any of these? What do you think about them if you have? Quite curious on your thoughts for those of you that have tried them. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the seven I featured in this video and you give them a spray now, there's always a really good chance you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.